To me, to me, elves and men, to me, oh my kinsfolk, he cried. And his voice shook like a horn in the valley. Welcome back to Lost of Lorien, where we cry for the fact that we are undertaking a serious challenge. We are about to face off against the combined might of Isengard and Mordor. My order is of course quite diminished, but still a powerful nation, even though we have rest wrested most of their indigenous lands from them. And we do so while training troops in their regions, because why would we not do such a wonderful thing? So, time... Good times are ahead. That's what I'm going to say. Good times are ahead. Mm. But Isengard is invading us at Dandalad, and they will likely attack us on the next turn. What can we do about this? Well, we can try to defend defend Dantelad. That's all we can do, really. But here, in Tirthanduin, recently conquered, taken out of Saruman's own grasp. Yes, here we are. And uh, here we shall stand against armies coming for us. Because of course they will. Yes, my lord. Swiftly. And our cavalry should stand there, so that the towns, the town dwellers, can effectively help them when needed, which will probably be um, a thing. And we are retraining and training in Kalasakaradon. What shall we? Uh, let's focus on some archers, I think. Archers are really nice. And uh, let's um, make sure that our agents have, well, made themselves useful. Saragost is indeed building an army, and they are probably going to be throwing that at us. Because what else do they have for enemies? They are enemies with canned, so it shall be interesting to see. Maybe I should send my spy toward canned just to yeah, have a look at what's going on in that part of the world. Oh, hello there! People as if they were my own friend. Odo Vaka of Darwinian coming to challenge. Oh, and he has he has brought Moriquenti Sentinels. Very powerful archer. I mean, wow. Okay, they are just. Your attention is an honor, noble ally. <laughs> Darwinian is really ramping up the attacks on Mordor, so uh, taking Saragost may not be needed. But uh, of course, they have a lot of Uruks in that uh, settlement, so we'll see. We'll see. But that is very interesting. Um, what is Darwinian's stance with? Uh, and it is non-existent apparently. They may be trading. I don't know. Um. My lord. Okay. And Gondor. Well, ha ha how does um? Okay, Dolanroth is at least uh. In a bit better shape. They still hold Belfalas. My lord. So that is neat. Um. Okay. Let's send uh you out west to Thargrondost and see what we find. Um, because, uh, yeah, Gondor needs to have something out there. Yeah, let's end the turn. Ah, so, this campaign is going rather well. We might see a setback just north of the Black Gate. But, 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 but... With that said, I am pretty optimistic about how things are going. We have just taken out the Saruman, of course. Oh, hello, Dorwinian. Trying to uh, access our court while the town is besieged. That's very optimistic of you. Oh, well. 
And it might also be optimistic uh, of me to think that we can actually defend Dandelad effectively against the multitude of orcs awaiting us. But we shall give it a very, very good go. Don't you worry about that. Ah... But that is not the only thing we have on the horizon. It is also very exciting uh, to me that Darwinian may be pushing Mordor west from both inside Mordor and from outside the Black Mountains as well. Because if they take Gelebrin, then they will have that as a staging ground for future invasions to come. And Tirith Anduin is now under siege. Plans. Right, 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 all right. Um, I'm okay with that. I guess I'm just gonna go lift that siege then. We don't have any towers, of course, but I think we shall be able to take them regardless. Because, um, seems that only one of their armies is attacking us. And that is not a sound bit of strategy. So... Oh, hello there, Gundabad. Ishgath. So they could send something. Not much, but something. And congratulations to them. Arnodion. Yes. Uh, you got a crop rotation before... I don't know what I was thinking. Probably, yeah, okay, economy. Yeah, okay, I was probably just thinking about that. Don't know, hack though. Yes. Give me, give me, give me some archers. I am all for that. Baradum, you are just, um. Baradum, baradum, baradum. Oh, still some desolation over here that's costing us. A bunch, a bunch, a whole bunch of money. Yet, what can we do? Twenty-five percent Elven. Soon, Mordor will be completely Elven. It will have fallen to us utterly. Maybe I should send these riders to um, retrain in Ammon Lank because, uh, yeah, having uh, a full complement with these stats, that would be nice. And the dagger lad has been taken by Dorwinian. What lovely news. Okay, here's my thinking. If we get these cavalry units over here, Swiftly. then they will be able to assist in the event of an attack. Onward. So, we must give up the road. and that will uh, aid us quite considerably, actually. And here is Kamul the Easterling. Hello there. Hello, chap. Have a taste of my blade. Ooh, Zagmus. With trolls and orcs. Of course, orcs. I mean, why not? Then here, what are we facing today? Oh, Isengard, you really shouldn't. I mean, most of this is just run-of-the-mill garbage. And, um, I hate to tell you this, Saruman, but you are completely... Well, okay, it's not Saruman anymore. And maybe that's why they're, sent, they're acting with such brazen foolhardiness. Um, just to make sure, I mean, no, they're not hiding the second army anywhere. No, I would be able to see that. So, yeah. I am going to rise up this instant. Shark rule. 
or a grievous. We shall shoot them to death. That is indeed what we shall be doing. Up with your beard, Durin's son, he said. For thus it is spoken, oft hope is born when all is forlorn. So, yeah, not that all is forlorn at this stage. I mean, look at the wonderful archers we have. How could we possibly be in a bad spot with these lads? Okay, okay, and we have some good of a leg. We have uh, Elbert Sentinels, excellent archer units. Not in full number, but they don't necessarily need to be. I'll have to say. Um, do 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 do, do. and um. Uh, let's get our archers on the road. So what are we going to do? Uh, I'm f I feel like maybe I should place these lads out here And these lads out here And Then I can have Maybe these guys. No, 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 no. Maybe two will do. Um, maybe just one. I suppose. At a time. Okay. And three. Yeah, that's good. And then. There and there. And then they can shoot at our enemy from inside the walls. That would be nice. We shall have our lovely, lovely Albadils coming in over there. And some melee troops to clinch that one. Yeah, I think that's a pretty solid arrangement. Now we shall move after them. We shall speed up the timer. All of our troops are coming into their own, into position. Man, they are going miles away. But that's okay, I suppose. We'll just have to um, chase them a bit. There's part of me that actually wants that hill advantage there, but... I don't know. Another part of me just thinks it'd be better to tire them out wherever possible. Done anything, Pikeman. Let's go. Why aren't they taking it so well? Is it because, oh, of course, there are units hiding right in front of them, aren't there? Or what? I'm not even sure. It's a bit weird. Oh well. Okay. Okay. It didn't solve much, actually. Which is quite annoying. Well, it seems like a weird bug. It only, we only ended up killing one or two of them. But uh, let's have a look at the Reavers. Oh, hello, Uruguay Archers. How are you, how do you do? It's a bit better.
<laughs> the low accuracy isn't really doing them any favors here today. Okay, let's pull everybody back. We lost one elf. Right there. And of course, yeah, his family's not going to be happy, but it is what it is, folks. And you guys, uh, aren't you an organized military unit? Thank you. Thank you kindly. Come on, you guys. So now you're just gonna go stand there. Is that really gonna be it? Okay. Yeah. Right. Do, 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 do. Okay then. Um shall move forth those and those and those Do, do, do. Okay, so they have now decided to come into range. Um, That is a weird decision, my friends. Um, are you sure you don't want to rethink that slightly while I rejigger my archers a bit? Um, yeah, let's aim for the raiders and the reavers. Swords up, my elven friends. No, oh, they don't like it, do they? Oh, hey, 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 oi, oi, get away. Oh, damn it, I thought I had you on skirmish mode. Not that it's 100% effective, but at least it can keep up the worst. Well, hmm, not today. Charging Reavers coming in. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, I said be quick. Thank you. So. Give some a few volleys, please. 
Okay. Hmm, where's some pikemen? Yvanna's chosen. Get to work. Uh, shoot them. Got out of swordsman. There's some spear guard over there. Oh, actually, the pikeman might be a good shout. Reavers. Yeah, Reavers. Shoot the arches. Shoot the arches. Yeah. That's good. Take down the pikeman. Take down the arches. Take down the pikeman. Only half the enemy force remains. Indeed you have, and indeed you will. Laura Grievers. Ready to be killed. Okay. <laughs> the pikeman just capitulate completely under the might of the Gurvalek arrows. You know. Uh, probably capitulate too. Okay. Swordsman. You have some archers to take down. Um. Yep. Okay, so, some troops ready to be deployed. Beast Slayers, down they go. Archers, uh, yeah, shoot the archers, yeah. You guys, are you just chasing down troops? Yeah, you actually are, yeah. Okay, go for those pikemen. And you guys, Beast Slayers, take them out, please. They don't like being in combat with elves, they, I can tell you that for free. Um. <laughs> okay, Yvanna's chosen. Go for the melee line. Sentinels. Go for the archers. And uh, you guys, you can also go for the archers. Actually, um, what are you up to down here? You are taking out pikemen. Yeah, yeah. Keep doing that. And uh, for the rest of it, the enemy general lies dead. Yeah, that should be it. Ah, uh, yeah. Indeed, this. They just it's run. The run like hell. And we are just crossing the point where we are capturing enough of them to merit a true celebration of victory. Total domineering victory. Okay. Uh, go over leg. Intercept. <laughs> Yeah, that took uh, another couple of percentage points in our uh, favour. Into our custody. Very nice. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Seven percent against ninety-four. So March March Wardens. March Wardens and Galadrum Archers. Very well done. Also, Elbrus Sentinels pulling their weight this time around. But yeah, Archers doing the work. Who did the dying though? Yvanna's Chosen? Mm, yeah. They sometimes do. Gurdinen, Sentinels, 
Yeah, not terribly surprised. Because 14 of Friendly Fire. Oh, I'm sorry about that, lads. Um, yeah. But if more of us valued food and cheer and song above hoarded gold, it would be a merrier world. And I can tell you that. That is, uh... That is quite a profound statement. And I suppose it shouldn't be. Um, the necessities of life should outweigh the niceties of life. In a way. Or things that need not be material in order to be good. At least. Okay. Tirith Anduin is securely in our hands. Isengard doesn't like us. Surprise. Okay. Um, so, I am of the mind that we should probably proceed. Maybe Eoron. Oh. Let's do like that. So, I will leave these folks. I should go with those. Ah, maybe we should leave just. Uh, yeah, let's leave some Galathrim archers behind. You know, if the enemy arrives, and they probably will, because they control a lot of this place, um, we will need something to keep them. Busy. Maybe send some down some set. No, oh, that was relevant, wasn't it? Okay then. Seems like we will have another battle on our hands. Okay. Um, you know my course from that is clear. I shall send down the artists as well, and we shall take out this force. We shall likely be facing them downhill. But beyond that. Uh, they do have some very experienced troops, but yeah, beyond that, I don't think we shall have much trouble. Um, they're mostly pre barracks event units, and ours are mostly posts, so yay! And there are 1700 of us. 1800 if you cap count Captain Iromolian. Let's go make a try for it. We're going to be hugging those trees in no time. Put an end to this evil. Hmm. And we shall be drinking a bit of water. Ah. But the Nogrim made a circle about him when he assailed them, and even his mighty armor was not foolproof against the blows of their great axes. Oh! Now isn't that a lovely hill? Hmm. I wonder, could we force an engagement upon them where we actually take this part of it? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Planning, plotting. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's going to go. We're going to put your melee units over there. Um Put you guys over there. Gonna put you guys in front of that. And what else? Yeah, go there, swordsman. Please go there. Let's see what they do. So they have some wargs. I'm thinking, um. Let's move. 
archers in position. Oh, they're coming for us, aren't they? Yeah, okay, we're going to be running. Um, we're going to be marching with our lovely pole arms. Okay, uh, like that. And. Oh, waiting to enter the battle, but at the perfect place, I would say. So if they are to enter, that's going to be very nice. Um, do, 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 do. If they are needed, I'm not even sure they will be. Okay, cavalry. Hmm, there are some marauders over there. What do they have for generals? Pikemen. Right. Or is that the general's unit? I'm not even sure it is. Um. No, it's not. Oh, it's is it this unit of wargs? No, 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 no. It can't be. Can oh, it, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not even sure anymore. Oh well. It matters a little. We'll get them anyway. Have some walk marauders there. Lorient scouts, you know what to do. There's a ridge right here. I want you on it. Okay, here they've been. Here they've been. Ooh, yeah, those marauders are actually capable of uh, pulling a fast one on our scouts, but uh, it does seem that our superior stats are making a good difference. Uh, a positive difference. A force for good. Um, but with a solid charge for the good in act, no, hither been. Um, then you should be better off. Oh, yeah, that is that general, isn't it? Okay, then. Well. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Bane guard coming for us. Okay, let's move away the cavalry. Who were you shooting at? Spear guard. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Um, Beast slayers walking right into our troops. Uh, the landing horsemen. They're going to be met by elven blades. Um, Uruk reavers take out the archers. Charge, charge. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ha <laughs> ha The girl over there like, really doing their thing well. Um, okay. Walk marauders. Let's take them out completely. And ooh, let's shoot down those walks, shall we? If you will. Oh, they charged at just the right time in order to take fewer losses. That is good to see. And then some arrows from the good of the deck, please. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Oh, goodbye and good riddance to that. Okay. Um, pikemen? Nah, we're going to avoid them. We're going to go hunting <laughs> down the swaths of hawks that are up for grabs out there. Them. 
walk marauders, take them out. Um, yeah. Hmm. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. No, the shoe's on the other foot, isn't it? Okay. You brave soldiers. You're going to be taking on an uh, enemy wherever you find them, but apparently most of them are just running away. <laughs> so wherever I turn, there are fleeing orcs. Uh, except for those pain guards over there. But they will need a firm adjustment. They're not even doing that well against the, an archer unit in melee. I mean, jeez. They must be rethinking some of this, some of their lives choices. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's speed up. We have basically won the battle this time around. And you are all done with those. Give chase to the Reavers. Um, Lorien Scouts though, let's send you around to do some business. I think we're I think we're good here. What? Oh no! 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 <laughs> what am I doing? Something was still. Ah! Oh. Of course, it didn't. That was my mistake. I'm gonna have to own that. And so we lost more troops than we actually lost, because I foolishly thought that. All troops were fleeing, but of course the victory message hasn't hadn't come, so I was just a bit premature there. I mean, it would only have been a matter of seconds, and there I went. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Brave Sir Robin ran away. I mean, that's all I can play that as. Okay. And now I'll have to face them again. Oh, and even this, I mean, th that wasn't even committed to the battlefield, ended up facing losses. That is just some <laughs> bollocks. Well, what can you do? Okay, adopt, adapt, and improve. That's what we're going to do. Adopt, adapt, improve. Haldir, how, how are you doing? Tell me, old friend. Oh, 45 year old friend, I suppose. Yes, my He's doing fine, it seems. My lord. Yep. <laughs> the Dowindrim are just making their way west. Rune have taken the steps of the Wayne Riders. Now that is a bit uh, concerning for Canned, I would say, but let's see how grim their state of affairs actually are, or the state of their affairs is. It is the state that is, which is singular, so how grim is the state of their affairs? Um, yes, my lord. Okay. Man, that was one of the most... Uh, Aggressively annoying things I've done in this game in a long time. I, oh, I can't even. 
Can't even. That's the time. Okay, I'm, I'm somewhat soon to have gone for an hour. Ooh, it seems that Dantelad is going to allow us to relieve the siege with full numbers. Except the ones that have died to siege attrition, of course, of course. Ah. Oh no, of course, that's Dorian. It, it hasn't been Isengard's turn yet, has it? No, okay, the cord is still out on that one. Um, yeah, here it comes. Do, 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 do. They buggered off! Well, okay, they must feel quite threatened then. Hmm. I mean, I suppose it's good news. We keep the settlement. Um, I mean, in no way am I going to complain about that. So. Okay. Um, how about a rematch? What do you say, Ishmoth? Okay. What do you have? Captain Muzgaz? Might he be going for Gelebrin? No, they're not at war with the Union. So they might feel provoked at this point. Uh, you're gonna go to Dornalak for retraining. And... We're gonna send some cavalry down there. You can always use a bit more cavalry, even light cavalry. It's fiendishly useful. Come, my brothers. Yes, my lord. For the light. By the light, hmm. come, my brothers. I am tempted. Let's take all these the melee forces and Swiftly. send them for retraining. Um, yes, my lord. How may I serve? Orders. How may I serve? Onward. So, like so. For the There's only one of those, Elves. aren't there? Yeah. Elves. Okay. Swiftly. Um, Elven warriors! Elves! You know, let's send the Girthin and over there. Ready, elves. Let's go with that one. And that one. And that one. And then that one, that one. Um, Art Gallery in Dirdanduin. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. We need those Yovanas chosen, I'm gonna say. And then we need those. All those. Durthang. Armour. Very nice. I'll be interested whether Dorwinian and Isengard end up going to war with each other. And maybe Dorwinian will push south into Thillian. That would actually be quite an interesting sight. But um, Lorian sentries. Well yes, worth Lord. retraining. Swiftly. I would Norway. As if they were my own friend. But with high paladins. So, no way the, the something or other. Take it for the elves. Follow me. 
Yaldon, you are about to have a rematch with Ismos. Ishmos. And this time, we are going to smash them. Send them back to their underworld. And for good this time, please. Maybe that's the power of Isengard. They just accidentally... I mean, not accidentally, but they incidentally glitched out my brain. At least that's what it feels like. <sighs> but let's see what we can do with what is given to us. I'm thinking we could actually send some troops over there because that is... Not quite impassable terrain, is it? Slightly impassable. That little bit. Um, so we can make some nice choke pointy things over here. And um, have some go over there on the flank. Uh, we have our trusty guardsman. We have the remainder of our melee forces. They shall go in somewhere over there. Yes, you must keep your borders safe. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, you should be standing there. You're going to be going over there. And we are going to be shooting them. Because that is what we do. This bows are meant for shooting. And that is what they'll do. One of these days, these bows and arrows are going to be raining hell down all over you. Part of me that thinks that um, the hill over here is actually pretty damn nice. So, why don't we take you guys and name you Team 5? We're gonna take you guys and we're gonna put you over here. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, so much for that. But hey, you're in a pretty good position anyway, I'm gonna say. Um. Hmm, Beast Slayers. Um. Yeah, maybe we should be, uh. Phrasing that a bit differently as perhaps beast slain. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to move forward these lads. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And um, how about these? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Gonna run you forward. Not good, and then get Adam Swordsman. Yeah, you're good enough for that. And you can charge right into Albert. I mean, of course, the initial charge will do all right, but. Goodness gracious. 
the rest of it not so much so yeah our men have slain the enemy general <laughs> yeah that's what happens when you charge cavalry into albert bloody idiot ah 3% dead yeah okay this is going to be a bit of a cakewalk um Okay, how much of the army is still standing, I wonder? Um. The battle is very much in our favor. Oh. Victory will be ours. Some wargs, apparently. No, Bingards. Okay. The enemy army, the there we go. And run them down. That's the message I wanted to see. Ah. Okay. I've been a little bit reckless with my army. Not gonna lie, but now we have them. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. A much better result. March Wharton's doing their thing. Gerbleg not really doing anything, but I did tell them not to shoot at a pretty crucial time, so yeah, I'm not gonna yeah, I'm not gonna sweat that one. Where are now the horse and the rider? Where is the horn that was blowing? They have passed like rain on the mountain, like wind in the middle. The days have gone down in the west, behind the hill, into shadow. Spoken in by theatre in the films. And I think uh, those are good lines, and, the, and it works well within the context of the film to have Mr. Bernard Shaw. Uh, what's that his name? Bernard Hill. Yeah, I think that was it. Um, say them. And uh, he delivered them beautifully. Okay. Well then. Let's. Uh, yeah, you heard the man. Oh yes, of course. More Orcish armies. Because why not? Yeah, okay, we're breaking the Isengard curve. Ooh, quite fiercely. Have a taste of my blade. You know... Take it for the elves. Ooh. Eh, nah. Okay then. Then I'm not gonna. Um. Let's re put retraining first before recruitment. Yes. You are going to build a tower and okay, run back. We will need that one. Like the wind. Yes, my Very good. Now we have some pretty good sight range on what the enemy is going to come up to through our region. We should have some forewarning if the enemy approaches. Follow me. My lord. And we shall continue to have a look at what goes on in the south. Ah, can still hold Zoe Bambari. And the gap of canned. Well, okay. In that case, um, Tomorrow's journey. carry on, I suppose. My lord. I shall continue tomorrow. Tomorrow's journey. Anfalas held by Isengard. I 
shall continue to what troubled times we live in but reclaiming it shall be a matter for the future and today's episode must come to an end and I hope you have enjoyed it I have even though I infuriated myself by exiting a battle away too early the next time around, I suppose, Kaz Galadon will see the expulsion of Camel the Easterling you. and his entourage of garbage. Isgas and his pale Urux. Ooh. And then. Kashuk. Just Kashuk. No one else. Come we'll probably on. also see the arrival and demise of Captain Shaguk because if he attacks Tirithanduin then we will be there to counter his offensive By the light of and glorious time await us so I hope you have had fun I hope you will continue to have fun in the in between this and next episode, which shall happen later this week, probably before the weekend. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Thursday might be a good day. But anyway, hope you're having a good one. Uh, Captain Turtle Waffle, very considerably out.